Now that we have looked at how to fetch data from API endpoints using the Fetch API, let's dive into fetching data from a database in server components. Please pay extra attention to this part because what we are about to cover is super important. It's the foundation for data mutations and server actions coming up next. Now, there are two key reasons why fetching data directly from a database is powerful. First, server components have direct access to server-side resources, which makes database interactions seamless. Second, since everything happens on the server, we don't need API routes or worry about exposing sensitive information to the client. To understand how to fetch data from a database, we're going to be working with two super helpful tools, SQLite and Prisma. Now, don't worry if you've never heard of these before. I'm going to break it down super simple. SQLite is a simple file-based database to store information in your project. It doesn't require a server or a complex setup, and it is perfect for learning and prototyping. Prisma is a tool that makes it really easy to talk to your database. It's like a translator that helps your code communicate with SQLite. Let's head back to VS Code and go through the setup step-by-step. Step. I highly recommend you to follow along with me. First, in the terminal, Install Prisma CLI as a dev dependency. npm install prisma d. Second, initialize Prisma with SQLite. npx prisma init dash dash data source dash provider SQLite. This creates a Prisma directory with a schema.prisma file. To simplify the setup, update the database URL in this file to file colon app.db. We will also add the database file to the git ignore file. Database prisma slash app.db. Third step, in schema.prisma, add a product model with ID, title, price, and optional description. Models represent the tables in the underlying database. Product model corresponds to the products table. Finally, run a migration to create the database tables from the Prisma schema. In the terminal, run the command npx prisma migrate dev dash dash name init. This command does three things. Creates a migration file in prisma slash migrations, executes the migration against your database, installs the Prisma client package, and generates the Prisma client with which we will interact with the database. Our database and tables are ready. Now let's define our database operations. In the source folder, create a new file called prisma-db.ts. To save time, I'll paste the code as we go, but you can find the full file on my GitHub repo and the link to that is in the description down below. Start by importing the Prisma client package. Import Prisma client from at prisma slash client. In the next line, create a new Prisma client instance. Const Prisma is equal to new Prisma client with parentheses. Next, we've got this seed products function. It checks if our table is empty, and if it is, it adds three sample products. Product one, two, three, with prices and description. Next, we will define our CRUD operations. First, we have get products, which uses prisma.product.findMany to get all products. Next, we have get product, which uses prisma.product.findUnique to get a single product by its ID. Next, we have add product, which uses prisma.product.create to add a new product. We have update product, which uses prisma.product.update to update an existing product. Finally, we have delete product, which uses prisma.product.delete to delete a product. I've added a 1.5 second delay to each CRUD operation to simulate latency. You wouldn't have this in production. If you're new to Prisma, don't worry too much about the syntax details. All you have to know is that we have a database with a products table and functions to perform CRUD operations on that table. All right, now for the exciting part. Let's fetch the products data in an XJS page. In the app folder, create a new products DB folder with the page.tsx file. First, define the type of a product. Each product has ID, title, price, and optional description, similar to our model in schema.prisma file. Then, define the React component. Export default, async function, products db page. 
Since server components run on the server, we can directly talk to our database without the need of an API. From Prisma DB.ts, import the get products function. Here, I'm using a path alias which refers to the source folder. Within the React component, await the function call and store the result in a products variable. So const products of type product is equal to await get products. For the JSX, we are going to use the map method to bind the product information and use Tailwind classes to make it look pretty. I'm going to copy paste the code to save us some time. So products.map and we bind product title, description, and price. We use ID as part of the key prop on the list item. Save the file, head over to slash products hyphen db in your browser, and you should see three products displayed from your database. We've got a working Prisma plus SQLite database with direct access from our Next.js server component. No API layer required. And while we are using SQLite here, these same concepts apply to any database you prefer. The key takeaway is that you can query your database directly from your Next.js server component. All right, up next, we will build on this foundation to learn about data mutations and server actions. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.